Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and then check. If that does not work, you can unselect beta from the game. So by by default, it may be set to beta. So you can remove it. You can just switch from beta to your region and then check. The next step is to select your region in the game. So once you launch the game, you can go to servers and then over here, select your region. So if you're from North America, you can select North America, click on confirm. So over here, you can select your region. If that does not work, you can even try a different region and then you can check. So changing region has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So try this. Now, the next step is to change region to North America. So you can even try North America and then check if that does not work. Uninstall gigabyte speed so if you have this application installed in computer so you can uninstall this application and then you can launch the game and then check this has also worked for many players next step is turn on or turn off vpn so if you're using vpn you can turn it off if you're not using vpn you can just turn on the vpn and then check this has also worked for many players so it might work for you next step is to switch to different network so if you have any other available network you can switch to different network and then you can check if that does not work you can switch to mobile hotspot so you can turn on the data on your computer and turn on the hotspot turn on the mobile data and mobile hotspot on your phone and then you can switch to your cell phone network over here and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to use ethernet connection so if your computer has a ethernet port and if you have a ethernet cable you can use wired connection and then check next step is to make sure date time time zone and region is correct on your computer so at the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time click on adjust date and time and make sure set time zone automatically is on also make sure set time automatically is also on and then click on sync now sync now is important if you receive any errors in red color, click on sync now once again and then go to your region, language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then check. Next step is to perform power cycle. Now for this, shut down your computer and then once you shut down, unplug the power cable from the computer, turn off your Wi-Fi router, wait for a few seconds or maybe a minute and then restart your Wi-Fi router. Plug in the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator and then click on yes to allow. And run the, all these commands one by one. So copy this command. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now run the second command. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. Run this command. And once you run all the command now, restart you can view. So simply restart you can view once now and then check. Next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app, click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder. So this is the location in my case. Select the game exe file, click on open. Again, click on add and allowed app, browse all apps, open this Dune sandbox, binaries, Win64. Select this exe file, click on open. Again, click on add and allowed app, click on browse all apps. Select this exe file, click on open. Again, add and allowed app, browse all apps, open battle eye. And then you can select this one, open. So add all the exe file. Now type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. And then click on change settings at the top. Click on allow another app. 
click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then again select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case i've already added again click on allow another app click on browse open dune sandbox binaries win64 select all the exe file one by one and then click on add i have already added so please ignore this open add again allow another app browse and then battle i once you add everything over here now you can launch the game and then you can check now the next step is to try google dns server now for this type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel go to network and internet go to network and sharing center and then click on your wi-fi click on your network and then go to properties over here and then select i internet protocol version 4 click on properties and over here select the option which says use the following dns server addresses over here type in 8888 and then for alternate dns server type in 8844 and then once you enter these details click on validate settings upon exit click on ok close close it close this one and then you can restart your computer and then launch the game or you can launch the game and then check if that does not work restart your computer and then check next is to restart steam so if there is any update uh, for the game or any update from steam you can exit it and then restart steam and then check and verify the game files now to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is complete launch the game and then check if that does not work the last step is to update your windows to the latest version so go to windows update and then update all the windows update and then restart the computer and then you can launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connectivity connectivity issues. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.